Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. If you want to rent a house in Honolulu, expect to pay an average of almost $2,700 a month. And that's up almost 5% from just last year. That's right. If you've ever gone out and looked for a place to live, you know prices here are far from cheap. So why isn't anybody talking about rent control? Certainly happening in other expensive large cities across the mainland. That's what Representative Kaniela Ng wants to know. And because he says nothing has been done, he's taken matters into his own hands and introduced a rent control bill. So how does rent control work? Sarah Madison getting you answers tonight to find out how this could impact you. Sarah. Howard and Marissa, Representative Ng says this proposal will look at what other major cities have done with rent control and take the best parts of it for a pilot project in Hawaii. Rent control would place a maximum that landlords can charge tenants. It would also limit how much your rent could be increased. It's to make sure that local people aren't being outcompeted by mainland and international interests. Local people are struggling every day just to, just to pay rent, just to feed their kids. Representative Ng wants to focus on possibly three different cities first, Kona, Kihei, and Kaka'ako. Well, we want to target new developments so that landlords um, will be able to plan for this new change of policy. Any buildings be built before 1990, so that leaves just this section of um, recent developments um, untouched. Everything built in between wouldn't be affected by rent control, just new buildings and those built before 1990. But there are concerns that rent control would discourage developers from building new homes and discourage landlords from renting. The cost to do uh, business, the cost to own a property is so high that if you control the income then you're going to be in the red constantly. Real estate analyst Stephanie Sofo says if the state wants to help renters, then it needs to help the developers to provide affordable housing. The only way you can provide for the everyday person, the average working class person, is you have to provide the affordable housing through, through um, tax breaks or, or subsidies. Now, there is no timetable for how long the pilot project would last if the bill passed. The Housing Committee will be reviewing this measure tomorrow. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News. Sarah, thank you. And finding the facts, looking even closer at the numbers, according to the Living Wage Calculator, the average adult needs to make $14.92 an hour to live in Hawaii. And if there's one adult and one child in the home, you double that number. You need to make almost 30 bucks an hour. But if you're living with another adult who's helping to pay for expenses, that number drops down to about $11 an hour. In addition to rent, the most costly expenses are food and child care.